Good morning, everyone. So has anybody felt like it's been really hot lately? Or like the winters have been really, really cold? I know I'm not the only one. So global warming and climate change are two terms that are somewhat similar and are kind of confused with each other, but they have their differences. Climate change uh, talks about stuff like floods, droughts, uh, heat waves, uh, winter storms, hurricanes, uh, and stuff like that. You know, just catastrophic events. And global warming is the warming of the Earth's temperature since the 1800s, and is an aspect of climate change. We all have one Earth to live on. However, we treat it like we have others to travel to. So when I first heard about climate change in high school, uh, I didn't think our emissions would have as much of an impact as, you know, changing the whole weather around the world. I see it every day on social media, on my news feed, about this, the stuff that's going on, and I'm like, man, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix it. So the purpose of my speech is to inform all of you about the effects of climate change and global warming. So first I will talk about how global warming and climate change started. Then I will talk about how, where we are now in terms of the climate. And then finally I will talk about the future of climate change. So first I will talk about how it started. So climate change started during the 1800s around the Industrial Revolution when we started getting advances in, in, in machinery and manufacturing. And that caused vast amounts of greenhouse gases to be emitted into the air, <coughs> which increased our CO2 levels. Other things that increased our CO2 levels would be the invention of the car and um, the rapid uh, human population increase which caused more resources to be used and caused other things like land clearing, which increased more CO2 into the air. So now, according to NASA on their website on climate change, the industrial activities that our modern civilization depend on have increased our atmospheric carbon dioxide levels from 280 million parts per million parts to uh, 400 million parts over the last 150 years. Now that I spoke about how global warming started, I will talk about how, where we are now in terms of the climate. So since uh, the 1800s, the, the, the global temperature has raised by about two degrees, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it has caused 17 of the hottest years on record since 2001, which is not a very good thing. All around the world, there's uh, record-breaking heat waves, uh, winter storms, for example, the polar vortex that's going on right now on the mid eastern states, and hurricanes, tsunamis, all that stuff that claims a lot of human lives and animal species. Now, according to Antonella Rosati in Global Warming and its Health Impact, the effects of rising temperature include soil degradation, loss of biodiversity, acidification of our oceans, loss of productivity on our agricultural land, and to the, to the depletion and disruption are, of our ozone. Now that I spoke where our climate is at now, I will talk about the future of the climate. So the future, I mean, it's not looking so good. So 
even though, even if the governments try to reduce all the emissions that we've got, that we got going on right now, we can probably expect, I mean, best case scenario, maybe just a two degree increase, which is maybe gonna cause some of the stuff that's going on right here. Some of the things that we can expect in the future could be like food shortages. I mean, uh, redrawn shorelines because of the rising uh, temperatures in the, in the, in the, in the around the world when the glaciers melting, and then the, ex the extinction of thousands of species from animals that cannot adapt to the changes. Okay, so now, now that I discussed. The future of climate change, I will end on a recap. So first, I spoke about how climate change started. Then I spoke about where, where we are now in terms of the climate. And then I ended with the future of the climate change. Thank you.